All right, guys, we have TJ Watt and we'll go. If you guys have questions, please raise your hand. All right, first question, Brooke Pryor at ESPN. Hey, TJ, congrats. Uh, what was that moment like having JJ come out and present the award? Did you know he was going to do that ahead of time? And just how much more special does it make it to win it when he's the one that's announcing you and, and giving it to you? Yeah, it was a pleasant surprise to see him come out and present me the award and um, quite the embrace. And just because me and him both know all the work that's gone into it. And um, like I said, uh, out there, I've I've seen him get that award three times and to be able to be up there and have that award myself uh, was a very surreal moment. And uh, I'm not a huge public speaker, so that embrace definitely calmed my nerves a little bit and helped me out for sure, which is basically the essence of our relationship. All right, next we have Rudy Rays. Hi, TJ. Hey, great job. Congratulations. I've seen all that work you put into it. You and your brother work normally uh, in the off season. I've seen that throughout the years you've been with the Steelers. Um, congratulations on that award. What was, what was your thought process as a year ended uh, in regards to where do you think you stood amongst the greats as far as defensive player of the year goes? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm taking it one, one thing at a time. And um, I feel like I'm just about to be entering the prime of my career. And uh, that's why more than ever, I just want to continue to, to find ways to get better at this game. That's why I love football so much is there's always room for improvement. And uh, like I said, I'm not satisfied and uh, I'd much rather be playing uh, in the Super Bowl this weekend than winning this award for sure. All right. As a reminder, please raise your hand if you have a question. Next, we'll go to Jenna Harner at WPXI. TJ, just what does winning this award mean to you? I mean, I can't say nothing. It's it's important, and uh, it's to be able to be recognized as the best defensive player in the year is definitely something that I strive to be. And um, I'm not huge on individual goals, but it's tough for me not to want that when I saw my brother at the height of his career um, win the award three times. And uh, I always just thought to myself, why can't I do that? And um, like I said, I'm just so motivated. I'm, I'm very honored to receive this award and to be voted um, when there's so many successful and great players in the National Football League. And I don't think it's it's fully hit me quite yet. All right. Next, we'll go back to Brooke Pryor at ESPN. Yeah, TJ, a year ago when you missed the award and Aaron Donald won it, you tweeted the Michael Jordan meme. And I took that personally. Just how personally did you take it at the time? Mm -hmm not getting in. And how much is that something that kind of fueled you through this season to, to get where you are now? Yeah, it was just one of those things where it wasn't anything personal with me and Aaron Donald. I thought he was more undeserving. I was just more of kind of uh, at the voters asking what more I had to do and um, just felt like sending that out, just try to try to lighten, lighthearted, uh, send a message to the fans. And, but, but definitely I, I, I approach football very personally and um, like I say, I, I dedicate my life to being the best football player that I can possibly be, the best teammate that I can be. And I know that there's always going to be room for improvement. I'm never going to reach the levels that I, I want to, but uh, I'm going to give it all I can to, to try to, for sure. All right, next we'll go to Joe Rudder. Yeah, TJ, um, you know, what's it like to be up there with Troy Polamalu, Joe Greens, the James Harris, and some pretty lofty names in uh, Steeler history? Yeah, it's huge. That's that's why I was so honored to be drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, talk about the legacy and the amount of legends that have walked through those walls. And uh, it's one of those things where it's if those guys played in that system and were so successful and won awards like this, why can't we do it too? Why can't I do it? So um, but definitely seeing those guys play in Pittsburgh, let me know that it's possible. And um, a lot of credit to, like I said, my teammates, uh, coaches and the upper management as well with um, – Mr. Rooney uh, for, for picking me. All right, last call for questions for TJ. All right, TJ, you're good. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. Yeah. 